Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're still in Luau Island, and it's time to do the mini games and uh, be done with this stage. Hopefully the mini games are not too hard. I mean, I don't think they should be. So far they haven't, like in the last level. They were not hard. But I guess it all depends on how many of them are speedways. Hey Spyro, I was out here checking out my baby manta ray farm and those stupid rip talks have scared them all away. Let's race to see who can capture more of them before time runs out. Capture the baby manta rays? You say that in such a creepy way. Use the analog stick to steer the manta ray. Press the X button to fire your net at the baby mantas to capture them. Press B button to make the manta ray swim faster. Cap. Alright, well, let's give it a try. Okay, there seems to be a bit of a delay on uh, when they get fired. But they seem pretty easy to catch. Even though they kind of don't look like manta rays. They're sounding like baby octopuses there. But they don't really count towards the score. Oh, God. Now it's a tie. My only issue with this minigame is that there's no uh, crosshair. So I had to pretty much eyeball it and hope for the best. And if you need to know, like, how much time is left, just look at the, uh, upper left. When that meter goes, like, completely, uh, bare, then you got it. Then you're out of time. God damn it. It's hard to steer this thing, too. At least I'm pretty much doubled up on this, uh, jerk. Cowabunga, dude! You got all of them in time, and they're safe and sound! I didn't know there was a time limit. <laughs> hey, it's Krishna Marty! What? Krishna Marty? McFly? Wanna try capturing them again? No. Alright, I'll see if I can calm them down until you come back. They seem to like the way I sing. How are you singing when you're underwater? <laughs> well, whatever, I guess. Unless you're wearing, like, scuba gear that allows you to talk. Like an underwater suit. But how would they even hear it? I'm not even going to question it. Because, you know, like... Firing nets at baby manta rays seems pretty outlandish as is. Especially if it's a cheetah doing it. Alright, if I remember correctly, I gotta go in an underwater tunnel to get to where the next minigame is. But I'm a bit turned around here, so I don't know where it is. Get through those gates. Okay, there we go. It's pretty much near the beginning of the level. Wait. Excuse me? Um. Oh, I'm supposed to go under this net and then go over another net. I got a bit mixed up there. Okay, so. Is it true that I only got like one more dragonfly left in this level? No, there's actually two. So maybe there's two in the next game. Because I didn't see any uh, dragonflies anywhere else. That would be the only explanation I have. Okay, so where's the way I gotta go? Over here, I guess?
Yeah, I think that's it over here. Okay. I was a bit confused as to where to go. I know it's past this. And it's like across a couple jumps. I was thinking I actually got hit there instead of him. Okay, I ran without touching the ground. Oh, I hope this game never freezes on me in this Let's Play. Especially if I don't save after a while. Let's see what we gotta deal with. What is this? Hello, Spyro. Unga, we Tiki getting ready for big Tiki tourist luau. Unga, we teach tourists how to play drums, Tiki Tiki style. Tiki Tiki Unga boom. <laughs> diggy Diggy Lolo. Come now, me Tiki see Spyro has want to play drums before tourists get here. Unga, go play. What's this about cold play? How do I play? Drums are placed like buttons on controller. The B button is for left drum. The X button for right drum, the Y button for top drum, and the A button for bottom drum. You are such a bottom drum. Come now, me. Okay, let's give it a try. Uga, good, good, have fun. We think he will play. Then Spyro plays same thing back. We take turns. <laughs> oh, it's worry. a memory we game. We think he starts small, so you learn one note at a time. Uga, pow! <laughs> See how this looks. Ready? Here goes. Well, at least you see the stars, so you won't get disoriented. How long is this anyway? Yay, I did it! <laughs> Spyro best drummer! Unga bunga hula ma ale a a Have prize for Spyro! <laughs> hey, it's Taral! I will take that, thank you very much. Spyro good drummer already, but are you big drumming champion? Let's find out! Oh, of course. This is where I get the other dragonfly. You gotta do this game twice! So I guess it's going to be longer and harder. That's what she said. <laughs> First time I actually had to use the A button. I don't give you a lot of time either. Oh, 
Okay, I actually I uh, hit the drum again thinking like there was another step and that was the last one. That's <laughs> wow. We think he knew you were a big drumming champion. Please take this for reward. Why are you echoing? Hey, it's Maverick. Oh yeah, I finally found the uh, GM for 205 Spyro Live. <laughs> you have no more dragonflies. Ooh, Thank you for being honest. I thought you would lie to force me to keep playing with you. <laughs> Alrighty then, we're done with this level too. We're actually coming across this uh, game rather smoothly. Like, we haven't run into too many problems. Yet. <laughs> Let's hope it stays that way. Alright, so I think the best thing to do is go back to the uh, Dragon Realms. Got 21 lives, too, which is really convenient. And 40% of the game already beaten. Not bad. Only what? Uh, I was going to say six episodes. No, we're seven episodes in. And we got 40% of the game already beat. That is a pretty solid go. I don't think this last play is going to be too long. I'll be surprised if it eclipses, like, say, 20 episodes. Then again, my spiral let's plays tend to not be that long anyway. And I do know I and I have like a couple other spiral games too that I haven't finished yet for like PlayStation 2. And they were like a completely different style. Like the games that involve Cinder. You know, as you might see those in the future. But for now, let's not think too far ahead. So I should have enough uh, dragonflies to get to this level. Hooray! Swirly thingy is working! Step right in, and it will take you up, up to the clouds! Try not to get dizzy! I did and almost lost my ham and sheep sandwich! Ha! Sheep? Did I say that? You have a bit of a speech impediment, like you cut out the first few words. Maybe you should try, like, a different protein? Okay, let's see what Cloud Nine's all about. Actually, I do have a good idea what it's all about. In fact, when I played this game before, I could not get all the gems, because some of them were, like, on a hard-to-reach area. And that really annoyed the piss out of me. Who knows, I might have found the uh, solution to uh, take care of that now. In due time, I guess. Well, that was an early gem. God, people are so lazy in this level. Oh yeah, it's one of those levels where it's up in the clouds. So try your best not to fall to your death. Hey, Spyro! The Riptox have invaded our palace and sabotaged the machines powering our hourglass. Your electric breath would be perfect for powering the machines. No one around here can get any sleep. Can you help us? You seem to be dressed very comfortably for this stage. What the hell did you do to earn your way into heaven? Oh. That must be the uh, rune I need to get the ice breath. Okay, so I, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this level early. And then we'll go back to the Dragon Realms, just so I can uh, cash in this rune. And if it is the Ice Breath, I will just open that gate and clear out the rest of the Dragon Realms. 
I think it will look cleaner if I have, like, a gem count that ends in a zero. <laughs> so, let's just, uh, wait for this loading screen to go away, and we'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. I hope it's the ice breath, because I've had that for a while. Oh, the magic of this sacred rune will bestow upon you the power of ice breath. There we go, now we have all the elemental breaths we need. Yeah, in fact, it was a good thing it was the ice breath, because we were pretty low on stages we could still enter without having to bust that uh, other gate. There it is, right here. There's the gate. Oh, finally God. get rid of that. And now we have access to the rest of the Dragon Realms. But these are the last sections of it. I am not even going to read that because I've already done this many times. Look at those trees over there. So tall compared to the rest of the area. There we go. So far so good. And I see you there. It's fluffy. Is that a mouse? I think that's a mouse. What are you doing over there? Why can't I talk to you? Why am I not able to talk to you? Uh, I'm stuck. I can I can't even pause, but I can press the R button to move my inventory. Are you kidding me? The game froze. Oh my god. Oh, that's just so bad. And all I wanted to do was talk to this mouse. Look! Behind him, that light stopped. Sparks is moving. He is moving. Sparrow is just unable to get out of position. There's only one thing that stopped, and everything else is going. God, I packed myself in tight with this coffee table. So I'm just gonna reset the game. And then we'll have to uh, do all that again. I mean, it did save before I cashed in the rune. So we got that going for us. We didn't lose that much progress. It's just annoying knowing that I have to go through that part again. Well, that was a kick in the teeth. And I was talking about, oh, I hope to God this game does not freeze or give me any issues. And look what happened. The, the losses was not bad. The only thing I lost really was time. So I might as well just uh, take care of like all the gems around that area first. Before I talk to that person. Or I talk to that mouse.
How many gems do I have to get left in this area anyway? Uh, over 200. That's a pretty big amount. But I mean, given that, like, this just has right. the way to a lot of levels, I guess it makes sense. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Sparks, I don't want to deal with your crap today. I am not in the mood. <laughs> we shouldn't even be having this conversation. Okay, let's do this again. With feeling this time. It's fluffy! Again. <laughs> you laugh, but what happened was not funny. Alright. <laughs> How did I miss this one gem? Okay, just to play it on the safe side, I'm gonna save here. I'm just gonna... I was working on a fantastic new experiment, but I suddenly disappeared from my laboratory. If you find some more of these dragonflies, I bet their magic could get this contraption working again. I don't have enough dragonflies for this level? Oh, I need 65! Damn! I got a little over half, but still... Also, you notice, I kind of just glided, or not glided, slid to that part of the stage. So that's a little more unsettling. Hey, it's Masa! I remember fighting you and your brother in Chrono Trigger. We don't need to have this discussion. I know how challenge portals work. It's just this one needs ice breath. That's all it is. <coughs> okay, alright. Let me get this one. I'm almost too paranoid to talk to anyone thinking the game's gonna glitch again. So I pretty much have to save after doing this. That guy looks like a dragon egg thief from the other games. You're gonna need to steal a lot more dragonflies before I let you on my magic carpet. Not just anyone gets to ride on it. Why does your face look like the logo for Disturbed? I need 55 dragonflies to go to this level. Okay, I haven't climbed up here yet. And it shows. Oh, careful. Who just nicked the edge. Okay, I still don't have all the gems yet. This must be the last bit on this section. Okay, it's icy, but it doesn't look like I'm slipping. So I don't have to worry about ice physics screwing me over. That monkey looks like Agent 9. It's not Agent 9 for some reason. How the hell are you eluding me? Hey, it's Sandra! Hi, Sandra. You are mine now. I 
It's not the last one? Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Do I have enough gems to see you? I don't think I do. Great job, young dragon. That should be enough to get my balloon working. Hop aboard. Oh, never mind. I do have enough. Well, let's not do that level yet, obviously. I think this would be a good time to uh, do the uh, challenge portal. So what's the gimmick here? Looks like campfires. Doesn't look like there's any on this side. Alright, just go. Go, 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 go. We in there. Putting out these flames. I see where the other two are. But do I have enough time to get there? I'm gonna be cutting it close. I did it. Hey, it's Howie. As in, how we get up there <laughs> through campfires. Also, we managed to get all the dragonflies in this stage. So let's take a look at our progress. We got what? How much? 44%? Actually, I could have seen it on this page, too. Alright, so the only stage we visited, well, thoroughly, but haven't completed, is Dragonfly Dojo. And I think we'll be able to finish that stage, too, because we have the Ice Breath. So, let's take care of that mess. Yeah, my gems still, still don't end in zero because I got some of them in Cloud Nine. But that's no big deal. We can, we can work around that. We'll be going there next episode anyway. With feeling this time. Like, actually be able to do the level. You d yeah, I did do a great job. I didn't even want to talk to you. Alright, let's just go around the level normally and look for the, uh, dragons with the kites. I'm not gonna bother with any enemies unless they're directly in my way. Okay, there's definitely one over here. Let me get rid of you, and you, and you. So what you had to do, well, listen to this guy's diatribe again. Yes, your kite got stuck in the tree. Get froze. And as soon as you get on the platform, you release the kite right away. All right, well, we'll just stick it in your ass. You don't mind, do you? Thanks for getting my kite down, Spyro. My buddies RJ and Dougie are flying their kites today, too. Have you seen them, Spyro? I saw RJ, but I didn't pay a visit to Dougie yet. Because I had other things to worry about. Like waiting till I got the ice breath to come back here anyway. I believe Dougie was near the beginning of the level, on the other side of it. Okay, and RJ should be on this side. I didn't want to talk to you. Because I haven't been in this area in a while, you automatically talk to NPCs when you don't want to. Okay, am I supposed to jump off here? Or should I do this from here? Okay, here seems good. 
Yeah, you actually have to freeze the dragons you're trying to help. And Dougie should be um, farther ahead. Whoa, why was Spyro like pulling back like that? I wasn't even doing that on my own. Game's starting to worry me a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so the Ice Breath doesn't, like, directly kill your enemies. It freezes them to make it easier to kill them later. I'm gonna run into many enemies that require me to use my wing shield to keep myself safe. So it's a good idea to stack as many lives as you can now, in case you run into the hard stuff later. I'm talking about, like, hard sections of the game. I'm not talking about alcohol. Although, if I didn't save after a long while and lost, like, several minutes of progress, I would be driven to drink. <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there. I think you can reach that kite just by gliding. Although, like, what's really the point if you can't even finish that quest anyway? All right, you're done. Now give me my dragonfly. I earned it. Thanks so much, Mr. Spyro. I've been looking for this kite all summer. A dragon without a dragonfly is like peanut butter without jelly. No, that's not quite right. <laughs> Why am I not getting the dragonfly? Oh, is it has to be the first one I have to go to? I have to go to the first one. Or worse yet, did I have to talk to each dragon when I didn't really need to? All I had to do is just bring the kite over. I think that should be it. Let me talk to RJ. That seems a bit tedious, really. I think the dragonfly should be held by the dragon that I helped last. <sighs> that was cold, but you saved my kite, so I guess I should thank you. Look, Spyro, look what came out of the tree when you saved my kite. A baby dragonfly. <gasps> hey, it flew away. Hey, it's Mooney! Oh, I'm actually supposed to get that from you for some reason. Whatever, I guess. Anyway, that's 45% of the game beaten. So we're nearly halfway there. Alright, let's take a look at how many more levels I gotta do. I think it's five more levels I gotta go through. Cloud Nine, I've already been in there, and the other four I haven't visited. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video here, and next part, we're going to go back to Cloud Nine. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.